I was born in 1640 to King Louis XIII and Queen Anne of Austria. When I was three years old, my father died and my brother became Louis XIV, King of France. I don't remember much of my father, but my mother was very close to me. She always fussed over me and dressed me in the most beautiful clothes. She would call me my little girl. When I was 18 years old, I fell in love for the first time in my life. My tutor, the Cardinal Mazarin, introduced me to his nephew, Philippe, the Duke of Nevers. I know it is a sin to love a boy, but the Cardinal and my mother encouraged it. My brother got typhoid. As much as I wanted to see him, I couldn't. There could be no risk of me catching his infection. But part of me was happy to see him sick. The court treated me like I was the king. I loved the affection, but my brother recovered and he returned to the spotlight. France is at war now. I love the battlefield. There are few things in life that make my heart race so. My favorite thing is decorating my tent. Despite my love for Philippe, my mother insisted that I marry. I was forced to marry Henrietta of England. She was a cold-hearted, conniving woman who convinced my brother to have my lover, the Chevalier, sent away from me. I retreated to the countryside in defiance of my brother. Eventually, he relented and allowed my lover to return to me. Shortly after, my wife died. It's difficult for me to care. But once again, I was free to do as I pleased. The parties at Versailles had never been so grand. I would dress in elaborate costumes and drink and gamble with my entourage. The Marquis de Lyon called me the silliest woman who has ever lived. I know he's trying to insult me, but it feels more like a compliment. I married again, this time to an ugly woman named Elizabeth Charlotte. She's kind, and I know she cares for me greatly, but it's impossible for me to return the sentiment. My wife gave birth to two sons. My familial obligations are met. I no longer have to sleep with that ugly woman again. I died in 1701 after having an argument with my brother. My whole life, he has frustrated me, but he is my brother, and he is also the king. Even after my death, I am forever grateful to him and proud to have been his brother.